Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing uh, things to do with live streaming or even just making videos, like anything to do with content creation. So I've been in this industry for well over seven years because I joined Mixer back in October 18th, 2017. So I've been at this for quite some time now. There, there's been a lot of things I've learned over the years that, you know, that you know, just being being a streamer myself, just, you know, it, it's definitely a lot of work. First thing I will say about live streaming or even just making videos, like, a lot of people get lost in this whole networking mentality, you know? Or they get lost in this whole follow for follow, uh, support for support, uh... You sub to me, I sub to you. Like, it, it's just, like, the whole... Well, just the whole term networking, man, like... I don't like the whole, the whole, the, like, the just the, the word, man. Like, it just throws me off in general. <laughs> and for someone who's, uh, you know, been around as long as I have in this industry, like, I made some mistakes when I was first starting out, you know? And I, I can own up to it. Like, for example, you know, I fell into that follow for follow in the beginning. And I didn't know too much about live streaming because I was just starting out, you know. And um, sometimes <clears throat> as years go by, you just realize, like, you better yourself as a content creator. And, you know, we all kind of just make mistakes when we're first starting out, you know. But, um, yeah, just, just in general, like, this whole... Just the whole networking thing. Like, I've never once saw a person as a number, as, you know, a way to get ahead, or, you know, anything like that. So, like, when people say... Networking. I, I, I don't, I really hate that word. I really hate that word. <clears throat> like to me like the way I look at it is like in live streaming I, I see it as making new friendships as you know playing games together as you know things like that I honestly think that is the right way of going about content creation because you know when when you get together with with people you know it's definitely something special you know because you're getting to know the person, you know, not just as another number and things like that. So that's just one of the first things I wanted to talk about. Because sometimes people forget and lose track of, you know, that other, these other people are just human too, man. Like, we're not a number. We're not, you know, just some other, like, extra number to be in your stream, like. Sometimes I feel like some people just forget about that stuff just to get ahead and use others. And, um, let me tell you, man, I will never be like that. I will always be grateful for whoever's there. And I'm thankful for any lurkers in my stream, any, any of them. It doesn't matter who you are. Even if you're new to my stream, like, I would never cast you out and toss you aside because... I've always believed in creating a safe space. So the second one I'm going to talk about. So as I was saying, second one would be uh, being everywhere, man. Like, like being able to be everywhere as a streamer. And, you know, posting content even. You know? Like, the reality is, like, I, I always thought, like, when I first was doing this, that I literally had to post content everywhere every day, you know? Like, that was, like, my mindset at the time. Like, thinking I had to do it every day when most people just do it once a week. But because how my mind works, it's like, bing, 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 because, you know, I'm ADHD, obviously. <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay, so you, you don't have to do that. All right, I, I, I kind of get it now. I kind of get it now. But that's just how my mind would work, you know? Like, 
I, I literally thought that's something I had to do every day. And then after doing it <clears throat> every day for many years, like it got exhausted and now I can see why, you know, because you don't have to post content every single day on social media of your own or make clips every day. You know, I, I wait every other couple of days to make clips for my stream now. So streaming is definitely a lot of work and a lot, it's definitely time consuming. And, you know, sometimes like, you know, there's there's only so much time in a day after you're done either doing your two hour stream, your three hour stream, your four hour, four hour stream or 12 hour stream, wh whatever, how long people stream nowadays. <laughs> You know, I might mainly only do four to five hours sometimes. Rare, rare occasion, six hours, but I don't push it to 12 hours. But I, I remember one time I did like eight hours, but I was for a charity. But I don't go anywhere near the 12 hours or even 24 hours. Because I know personally for me, it would not be good for me or or my own mental health. So the third thing I'll talk about. <clears throat> this is kind of uh you know one of those big things so number three would be breaks <laughs> and this is something i don't do enough that i should do and uh sometimes i just need to you know so just recently i um like i took today off live streaming and or at least for the next three days anyways um, so I won't be on until Monday again, but, uh, I'm doing a video because, you know, I just, I just really wanted to get this off my chest and it's kind of a video I wanted to make for a while, but <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is like, <clears throat> don't be like me, like sure have a schedule, but you know, just know that there is, there is more to life than always live streaming and you know like you can enjoy it as much as you want because i admit it is a fun thing and the people you surround yourself with but <clears throat> when you when you don't take frequent frequent breaks it can twitch can really mess with your head or even youtube or wherever you stream even tw trovo you know facebook gaming doesn't matter where you live stream you just got to start take frequent breaks, you know? So, this is just, you know, it's just very, something very important to do. Your community will understand if you need to take breaks. Like, I voiced the other day I was taking a break and, you know, sometimes you just need it. You just really need it. So, with that being said, you know... That's just my experiences doing this after, oh, actually, number four. I'm going to do one more. Well, number four would be uh, surround yourself with the right people in this industry. So, you know, this is just something I've had to learn the hard way. Uh, <clears throat> like a couple years ago. You know, I surrounded myself with not the best kind of people. And um, then, after three years of knowing them, I was backstabbed on Twitch. So, I'm sharing this part of my story because, you know, this is a, a big factor of, uh, you know, having the right people in your circle. And it can really either... <laughs> diminish your community or you know or can strengthen it so for me personally it's really you know it took a lot to rebuild what I once had but I stuck in there I still kept going even through it all so I guess what I'm trying to say is even when you go through things like that you just got to keep going. You, know, you don't ever give up. No matter what. So. It's all about surrounding yourself with the right streamers. The right community. 
and just generally nice, genuine people. Because in the long run, those are the people that are always going to be there, there for you truthfully in the long run. So I hope you guys like this video. Hit that like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Phoenix Army forever. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all on Monday, man. Love you all.